Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to show you the inferencing part. So before starting inferencing, let me upload some of the images inside this folder. So I will just open my folder. So here I have kept some of the images for testing. Okay. So I will just copy. Suppose let's say I'll copy hello and please and I will move it to my collab. Okay, I'll paste it here. Okay, inside yellow v6 folder. Okay. So see I have uploaded two images one is please.jpg and one is hello.jpg okay so now if I show you the images so see this is please.jpg okay so that means I am trying to say please now now let's see my model is able to detect or not okay it's like I am trying to say please here okay so for that inside tools there is another uh, see inside tools there is another file called infer.py okay so this is the inferencing code they have given okay you don't have to change anything here uh, so what what you need to change here uh, you need to give your model path so which model i have trained like right now so if you see inside uh, train uh, inside experiment inside words okay i have trained a model called base.ckpt okay so this path actually i have given here okay you just click on this uh -huh, and copy the path okay so one, once it is done you need to give the source okay source of our images so this is my source of my images so you need to click on the please image and copy the path and paste it here okay so i'm i'm already inside my yellow v6 folder so that's why i've given please.jpg i am giving my gpu that means zero and yaml file you need to give this data.yaml file okay copy the path and paste it here okay this is the yaml parameter so now let's run it so see it has uh, saved my experiment inside this run folder so if i do refresh here uh, now if i expand the run once again so see inference folder it has been created inside experiment it has saved my this.jpg okay so see uh, sorry guys uh, actually i have done a major mistake here so it is not this.jpg uh, it should be uh, thanks.jpg okay because please uh, we try to say like that okay but thanks we try to say like that okay so uh, yeah so it is correct so let me show you the data inside train please 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 uh, yeah thanks see thanks should be like that okay so this is our thanks images so not not a please images okay so yeah so you can call it uh, thanks images so uh, what i will do i will just uh, rename this one uh, rename instead of please I will give thanks okay thanks so here I, I, I need to change here thanks okay so now if I run it yeah fine it is working fine now again I will uh, do the inferencing Uh, okay so here i need to give thanks instead of please okay it has saved here so now if i do refresh and if i go inside my inference sorry not data inside runs uh, inference and experiment thanks.jpg okay so now see uh, it is predicting correctly okay now if you want to visualize that so this is the starter code for it okay so that should be thanks because here uh, it has been saved using thanks.jpg okay so now if I run it so see uh, it is able to correctly identify and if you see the prediction score it's like very high 0 0.87 percent although i have trained with 50 number of epochs just consider how powerful this model is and how good this yellow v6 is okay uh, so yes guys uh, this was all about the inferencing part i think you got it okay and now let's take another example instead of taking thanks i will take hello one okay let's see it is able to identify or not okay that means i'm trying to say hello so let's do the prediction okay sorry here i need to mention hello hello.jpg now let's run it
see it is loading my model and doing the prediction and now if I refresh here so hello.jpg would be here if you see see hello.jpg is here now I just if I want to do the visualization so I'll just write hello.jpg here now see it is able to identify it with the score of 0 0.94 okay that is pretty good so yes guys this was all about uh, fr from this video okay i think you got it and in our next video okay so next video would be our last video uh, i will show you like how to convert this uh, pt model that means pytorch model to onyx onyx model okay so that if you want to use onyx environment and if you want to make your model independent so you can convert to onyx file format okay so i will show you like how to convert it so yes guys uh, this was all about from my side and thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you next time